What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Beast Real. In today's episode, we're down in California with the Lambo and we're gonna get all the airbags fixed. This is pretty cool. It's the first time we've done this on the channel. We're gonna get the airbags replaced and rearmed. We should be leaving here with a perfectly functioning SRS system on our Huracan. Stay tuned. So the guys from L&D Solutions here in, uh, I you know what, I'm just gonna put whatever city we're at at the bottom of the screen. I'm, I'm, bad, with, I'm bad with geography. And I'm obviously gonna put a link uh, to them in the description. They invited us out and said, hey man, bring your Huracan on down and we'll get you all fixed up. So I'm really excited to see how all this, the process of how all this works and everything and we're gonna document it. Really in the end, I wanna show you guys kind of the process of what it's like to take a crash car that has a deployed airbag and to be able to fix it and, uh, and have a rearmed safety system. So first things first, we gotta get the Huracan off the, uh, off the trailer. It's kind of funny and extremely difficult to get this car off of here once you have it on because uh, so on a normal car you could just crack the door hit the hit the window down switch and we could just jump in with the door you know window down with the door closed and you just jump in and drive it off but uh, with this one the window down switch is in the center console in there so we got to try and like reach for it and then if we can hit it we can get the window down and jump in and drive off. All right, so getting the getting Lambo off the trailer was a lot of fun, but we finally got it, and uh, we're gonna start on on the seat area. So uh, we're, it's gonna be easier to work on the seat, obviously outside of the car. So we're just gonna start by uninstalling the seat. All right, so we got the seat out of the Huracan, and uh, the next step is, since we need to sew this whole seam up back here once we replace the airbag, and we're gonna have some, you know, getting creative sewing up there to do as well, the next thing you gotta do is peel it. You gotta peel all the leather off of this seat. Each seat's gonna be different, but a lot of them start down here. You disconnect here and start peeling this way. Okay, so the removal process is, uh, you know, you wiggle things around and you look for clips, you look for screws, you look for everything you can, <laughs> look for flaps, look for these types of clips, everything you can, and, and, and fold it off. Now the foam in this seat is actually glued to the rest of the leather coming through here, probably because of the different contours and stuff, they don't want to slip it around. So it needs to be, it's going to be basically sewn um, with the foam, you know, kind of pushed to the side, which makes a lot of sense. So now this is going off to be sewed, and once that's done, then we can replace our airbag, is that correct? Yeah? That is correct. Yep, cool. So that's going off to be sewn, and then we can start focusing on probably the pop-ups. All right, so the pop-ups are repaired. You can see they're back in kind of their, their original compressed state. Um, essentially what it is is you have a pyrotechnic device up here. Uh, so if the vehicle senses a rollover, it explodes that and it shoots that down. The minute that that shoots that down, it releases a spring mechanism that then shoots this part up and back through here and then make the pop-ups pop -ups come out. And once they come out, they are locked. They're locked out. And then to, uh, to do the reverse process, you just gotta kind of pull that thing out and that's how we got them to compress the last time. So they're all, uh, they're all ready to go, new pyrotechnics and everything. We just throw this thing back on here that you're not supposed to remove apparently. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and install them in the Huracan. All right, just like that is pretty easy. Uh, we have the pop-ups reinstalled. Now, uh, when we get back to the shop, we gotta screw this thing all the way down, but uh, it's good for now. And uh, yeah, so the pop-ups are installed. There's a little cap that we also have back at the shop that goes over the back of this pyrotechnic. Um, but other than that, 
it's all good. So they're both in here and that's gonna make the system very happy. And then one thing that makes me really happy is I think I mentioned to you guys that these things got you know fully ejected. We found the one for this side. It was under the uh, driver's seat. So we're gonna keep hunting under the passenger seat and pray we can find the other one. But for two of these, it was a thousand bucks. Worst case scenario, we can do something really cool is we can 3D scan this and then we can 3D print a mirrored copy and that'll be, that'll be really easy. So uh, that is very good. Basically saved us a thousand bucks by finding this. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit the button to lower this back down and then we'll install our little flappy deal and we're gonna move on to the seat belts. All right, so our new seat belt is actually already installed, but I kind of want to show you guys, you know, kind of the before and after. So if you look at this, you can see how that's totally kinked that way. That's from the explosions that happened here and here. They're the pyrotechnic devices that were in this thing. And I had no idea, but these actually went off. Unlike a lot of other cars where after they go off, the seat belt's no longer uh, kind of reel in and out. This one actually reeled in and out, so it had me, had me tricked. But the guys here were smart enough to know to check, and they were like, yeah, that thing's totally toast, so you need a new one. So then they got us a new one, just like this, and went ahead and reeled in our stock belt and all that stuff into this setup and now it's all like brand new and ready to go we got brand new pyrotechnics in here and everything's perfect it's perfectly good brand new seat belt so we're gonna go ahead and bolt that into the car now and that part is done All right, so just like that, our belt is reinstalled and you can see it's uh, connected up right here and right here. So the two pyro devices are armed and good to go. So we're gonna throw this backwards and get it clipped back in for the last time, haha. <laughs> And now that we got the seat belts in, it's time for the last piece of the puzzle, which is the seat. They have finished the repairs on the seat. It's fantastic. So you can see this is where it was blown out, how it's re-sewn in here, and then it's sewn all the way down the seam here, and then our airbag is back where it belongs right here. And this is terrible stitching, so if we have another airbag explosion, it will pop out and do its job, which is basically nothing anyways. But So there it is, we got the seat fully Reassembled. They did a fantastic job on this. This was a very, very in-depth process of taking the back cover off and all the clips and all the everything to peel it. It was the hardest seat I've ever seen to be peeled. And they did a fantastic job. So now we just gotta install it back in the car and then we'll start to focus on resetting our airbag light. Seat is installed, it looks fantastic. So we got it all the way back and all set up, that's great. So now, how to rearm the SRS system. Computers and magic. So first I wanna show you guys uh, the airbag fault. So to do that, we're gonna have to start it up real quick. And you can see right there in the bottom left that we got an airbag warning and that's no good. So now to get the airbag system off, um, first of all, you obviously have to replace all the busted airbags, the different charges, igniters, the different things. I mean, we really didn't have any bags blown except for the one in the seat, but we had like the seatbelt auto tensioners and obviously the pop-ups that had popped up. So those have all been replaced and they're all wired back in. And now essentially it's just plugging in a computer and telling it to recheck itself, double check and see if everything's correct. Well, everything went pretty perfectly. The computers loved all the changes that we made and everything that we replaced went great, but now we ran into a problem. It's throwing the one last SRS, the last airbag error, is saying passenger head curtain airbag, but there is no head curtain airbag. Uh, it thinks the driver's side one is okay, so we're not sure if, that, if by head curtain they mean seat or really what they mean, but we're gonna start diving into the stuff over there. It could be that there's a cabling issue under the passenger side or something, but nothing should have blown on the passenger side because obviously the accident didn't uh, shake the sensors that far, so we're gonna really look into it and see if we can find the source. Because if we can, then we can get the whole system all happy. All 
Right, through a lot of guessing and checking on things in the passenger side, we did a process of elimination to find out that um, it is indeed the pop-up is what it's calling a head curtain airbag. It's actually the pop-up. Uh, it's saying a short to ground, which probably means we have a problem with that wire. Um, once I unplugged it from the airbag thing, then it said that we had resistance too high, meaning it's not seeing the airbag thing. So we're gonna need to uh, jump into there. So I'm gonna lift this hatch up. We're gonna jump into there and start diagnosing around there. All right, big success. We spent like an hour and a half troubleshooting this. In the end, there's just some ground connections inside this plug that had to be rebuilt to put the new, um, what's that thing called? Pressurized gas PGC? Uh, pressurized gas cartridge. <laughs> right, the pressurized, I called it a pyrotechnic device, whatever. There were, there were some grounding pins that we had to double check. So we to do that, we actually unbolted our pop-ups. So we're gonna go ahead and, now we have no codes, we have no more check engine light, but we gotta turn the car on to double check. So finally, so we're gonna go ahead and bolt the pop-ups back in, uh, turn the car on and do one one last scan. All right, tops down, everything's reinstalled. Let's fire it up. Please start the engine soon or else it's gonna be turned off. Oh my God, batteries, the battery is so low. Oh my God. All right, we're not turning this off for a while, but you can see that we have no more airbag light. Fantastic. Oh man, feels so good to have a Lambo that's all one color. Yes, we broke the mirror, don't worry about that. It's all one color, and now we have working airbags and working pop-ups. Huge thanks to the guys here at l and I'm gonna put a link in the description. I think they're shooting a video, so I'll also link to their YouTube channel, and uh, obviously a link to their website as well, and they're near the Sacramento area. Um, if you guys wanna get some work done, they do, they do all of it. So Kyle and I are gonna go grab some lunch and then we're gonna load up our new SEMA build. So the next episode you see on the channel, we're gonna unveil exactly what our SEMA build is, the state of it right now, and the game plan moving forward. Please tune in to watch that. You will not wanna miss it. And hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the videos of that build. See you guys soon. Peace! Come on.